Hey. <laughs>
the nastiest of the nastiest of the most raunchiest bitches. But I don't care because one thing about me, I, I'm going to come up here and speak my truth. <laughs> Fuck you tell me. One thing about me, I don't be embarrassed or, or goddamn, I don't regret shit. You know what I'm saying? You just, you just, you live and you learn. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You can tell, look at me. You can tell I'm one of them bitches that live by that. You live and you learn. I don't give a, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? One thing about me, I'm not going to regret shit, bitches. It's a chance to learn. It's a chance to grow. I really don't give a fuck, you know what I'm saying? And like I always tell y'all as well, when you spent half your life wanting to die and half your life trying to kill yourself, <laughs> fuck it. <laughs> Literally, I wake up every day, fuck it. Then my podcast, I told them it was this one story time that I would probably never tell on YouTube. And the reason I would never tell this story on YouTube is because the girl watches all my videos. She even tells me that she's watching my videos. Like whenever I post a new video, she'll DM me on Instagram or she'll repost me and she'll make like a little, you know, a little boomerang. Like, ooh, I'm watching my fave, uh, 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 type shit. You know what I'm saying? Like I always told myself like, it was just, it was just gonna be one story time that I cannot fucking tell because like she's gonna know. You know what I'm saying? Like till this day, she don't know. But today she about to know. <laughs> The reason I decided to tell this story time is because she recently just went to, was it the Air Force or was it the Navy? She's been doing hella countdowns on her Instagram type shit because like she was getting goddamn, what what they do in the military? They draft you? I don't know. What they do? Pick five? What y'all do? Goddamn pit five from P Piggly Wiggly? What? How, how do you get, what y'all do? Draft, right? I don't know. She got a uh, renaissance. What is it called? Recruited. <laughs> when them folks basically go to basic training, they gone for a couple months. So... I got a couple months until this bitch find out that I made this YouTube story about her and her mama type shit. So, and even if she do, you know what I'm saying? Look, 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 look. Hear me out. Hear me out. Even if she do find out, I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, how long, how long, how long people be in, look, look, <laughs> look, I'm trying, I'm trying to, I'm trying to cover my tracks. How long people be in basic training for real? Like three months, right? Fuck it. I mean, by that time, I'm going to be a whole new woman. You know what I'm saying? She's going to be a whole new woman. She probably honestly not even going to care. I want y'all to sit through this story time and just hear me and hear me good. Because y'all not going to judge me. Because, like, I feel like if y'all was in my predicament, if y'all was in my situation, y'all would have did it as well. So, with all that being said, let me get into the story time. I'm going to do the transition slide this way. Because I like when it go this way. Look at your All right. I'm going to hold y'all. I am a very sexual being. And I feel like... You know what I'm saying? I feel like people just take that and people just run with it. And it's just like, you know, it's like this whole new thing where people like starting to slander like very hypersexual people. And I'm not, I'm just not one of them. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like it's okay to be sexual as long as you're being safe. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I always say this, like, I'm a bitch. I support sluts and hoes and whores and I support sex work. I support, I, I really don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? It's your body. Why, like, why would I shame you for doing shit with your body? I don't give a fuck. It ain't affecting me. You know what I'm saying? The only way it's going to affect me if if I come fuck with you. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know, like, the older I get, especially, and the more I become comfortable with myself as a woman, and the more I open myself up to, like, certain shit and certain things, and I learn about certain shit and certain things, I'm just, you know what I'm saying? Like, some shit really just be having me, like... I want to I want to pull my pussy out. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like like why slander somebody for like what you're supposed to do? You know what I'm saying? Like all that goddamn, oh, you're not supposed to have sex until until you're married or oh, if you do this before 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 this time, you're going to go to hell or it's a sin. I don't give a fuck. I literally don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? One thing about me, I don't give a fuck and y'all know this. So like I'm just a very hypersexual person. I'm not even going to hold y'all. Y'all probably think like Oh, it's probably because, like, something happened to you as a child. No, I'm literally just horny. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, people always trying to come up with a formula to some shit. Some people are just fucking insane, y'all. It's okay. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Like, like I, I hate when, like, some of y'all be in my comments, like, she probably into spirituality because, like, something happened to her as a child. Or she probably into women because, like, she got touched as a... No, I'm just horny and I'm just insane. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's nothing deeper to it. I'm, I'm horny and I'm crazy. The older I become, though, like, honestly and truly, being true within myself, that's that's what I really give a fuck about. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't really give a fuck how, like, other people view me or how other people may perceive it. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I'm not on the internet to be perceived. You know what I'm saying? I'm on the internet to express myself, and I say this every day, and I will die saying this. You know what I'm saying? Like, not on the internet to be perceived. I'm not on the internet for somebody to... You know what I'm saying? People gonna judge and people gonna have shit to say, but like, I literally don't care. You know what I'm saying? It's not gonna change who I am as a woman at the end of the day. And it's especially not going to make me think any less of myself type shit. You know what I'm saying? So one thing about me, <laughs> what's that post? And it was like, bitches be like, are you an extrovert or an introvert? Bitch, I'm a pervert. You know what I'm <laughs> no, no, like, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, listen, I need y'all to just, you know what I'm saying? Like, look, like, cause y'all know I fuck with you. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know I fuck with you, shawty. You know what I'm saying? So like, you know what I'm saying? And I, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And I know, and I know Nick and Carla. <laughs> no, for real. No, for real. Look, 
Nick and Carla are gonna re they gonna react to this video. I'm telling y'all, Nick and Carla are gonna react to this video. And one thing about their comment section, I be I be trying, I be having to sit back so bad on Nick and Carla on Nick and Carla reactions because they comment section be disrespectful. And I really be like, whoo, I'm talking about I be fighting demons sometimes. Like even when they react to other people, that's not me. I be seeing some comments and I be like, these are some hating ass, miserable ass people in these fucking comments. But it is what it is, y'all. But I just know Nick and Carla's gonna react to this video. Hey, shout out Nick and Carla. I'm gonna link their channel to you, you know what I'm saying? But Nick and Carla, Nick and Carla, look, look. When y'all react to this video, make sure you tell all the mommies. Tell all the mommies. Follow me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm vibrating. I basically said that I would never tell this story time on YouTube because the story time that this young woman is... The story time that is about this young woman... Did I say that right? Am I having a stroke? I don't know. You know what the fuck I'm trying to say. <laughs> I'm not going to edit that out neither. I'm going to leave it in. The story time <laughs> that I want to tell y'all, the young woman, she watches my, like, nonstop. Like, she's a supporter type shit. So, it's like... Because it's just like, to sit here and say it on camera is very different for me when I was saying it on my podcast. Because on my podcast, I don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? But, like, on YouTube, you know what I'm saying? I be trying to, like, uphold a little bit of goddamn, you know, secrecy. The fuck I think I am? A pretty little liar? All right, for real, come on. I was fucking with this one this one young woman. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm trying to stop calling women bitches and hoes. It's very hard, but I'm trying my best. Fuck you talking about. Especially black women. The rest of y'all, y'all some bitches and hoes. <laughs> no, no, no. No, for real, no, for real, I'm wilding. Okay, come, for real, for real, come on, come on, come on. So, I was fucking with this, with this one. I don't like goddamn Bone Thugs and Harmony. <laughs> Meet me at the crossroads. Y'all don't want a 10, the bitch was a 10. Me and him is fine. Fine, some fine shit. Fine as hell. Body was amazing. She was like, she was like my color. You know what I'm saying? Beautiful, beautiful ass black woman. Fine as fuck. The bitch had a lot going for herself. She still got a lot going for herself because like I said, she just recently got goddamn drafted for a war fuck you to my <laughs> she got drafted into like the air force or the navy. i don't know which one it is but it's either the air force or the navy so like i said the reason i'm telling this video is because i know she gonna be in there for a limited so i got you know what i'm saying i got some time type shit so and by then i'll probably have like 40 more videos on top of that so maybe she won't directly come right to this one type shit okay cool and me and her we went to school together and everything like we graduated together type shit and we really didn't start like fucking with each other until like after graduation type shit you know what i'm saying like we wasn't fucking with each other in school, but like we ran into each other in either Walmart or Target. Like, approached me like, oh my God, how you been? And what you been up to since graduation? And I be watching ESN like, and mind y'all, this is recent type shit. Because like when she approached me, she was telling me like, I be watching you on YouTube. You be going up on YouTube. Woo, woo, woo. From there, I started knocking the doonies. You know what I'm saying? Like from there, I was goddamn bam, 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 bam. You know what I'm saying? Word, yin, yang, twins. I was in it. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> not gonna hold you. Fuck you talking about. So like clean this up. I gotta clean it up a little bit because it's just very goddamn, it's very graphic. You know what I'm saying? So I gotta clean up a little bit. Okay, so me and her, maybe we was probably like knocking the doonies for maybe like a good two months, right? And I, I know I'm like a super like like super goddamn spiritual yogi bitch, but I'm not gonna hold y'all. I am a sexual woman, and like I, you know what I'm saying? Like I said this, I'm gonna repeat myself. I am a sexual being. I'm a sexual woman. I'm not one of them damn dykes. I'm not one of them damn studs. All the goddamn, don't touch me. Don't do this. I don't like that during sex. That don't fly. Baby, if you want to fucking hook a goddamn car battery up to my fucking nipples, no, <laughs> no for real, no for real. Like no, really. Like 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 I keep saying, like the older I become. I'm just becoming more comfortable with myself, especially as a woman. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like we just so fucking magical. Like, we literally create life. You know what I'm saying? So, like, the fact that, like, you can harvest a fucking human inside of you, I feel like you are just a, an amazing fucking being. You know what I'm saying? Like, it gotta be, like, some ethereal shit type shit. You know what I'm saying? So, like, one thing about me, I'm gonna be comfortable with myself and I'm gonna be comfortable with everything I do. So, with that being said... I know it's like the whole goddamn, you can't be having sex with everybody because everybody got soul ties and everybody don't got good spirits and everybody don't got good energy. No, that is true. I do believe in that. You know what I'm saying? One thing about me, I'm very clean spiritually and I'm very clean sexually. Fuck you talking about. Very hygienic type shit. You know what I'm saying? The same way you take care of your hygiene is the same way you should take, you should take care of your spirit and your soul type shit. The same way you clean your body. You know what I'm saying? The same way you clean your vessel, you should clean your soul and your spirit type shit. If I feel like I done laid down with a woman, and she got some goddamn goosebumps shit going on or some goddamn, you know what I'm saying? Some Kershaw Carolyn all energy. 
One thing about me, I'm going to do a ritual. <laughs> One thing about me, I'm going to get your energy to fuck up out of here. You know what I'm saying? The pussy was good, but the energy got to go. <laughs> I'm not going to hold y'all. I'm very sexual. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I don't do the, the slandering. Oh, how many bodies you got? I'm a grown fucking woman. I don't give a fuck if the bitch had let the bodies hit the floor. Fuck you. <laughs> y'all know that song? Yeah, I just put you down, clown. If you don't know that song, go listen to that song. You know what I'm saying? I'm a grown woman. I'm going to be 47. I don't, <laughs> I don't care like that whole goddamn, oh, how many bodies you got? We are not in high school. I don't care. You know what I'm saying? I'm not finna, I'm not finna slander no woman for doing the same thing that I'm doing. I slander you if I'm doing the same thing. So, like, the whole goddamn body count shit, that shit. I don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? But, of course, just always be aware of the people that you lay with seriously. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying, like, I sleep around with every bitch I run into. But what I am saying, <laughs> what I am saying is... Fuck, I look like turning down some head. That's sort of like a bird turning down some bread. Word to Nicki Minaj. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? One thing about me, we gonna do the do. Especially if I want to, if I like you, if I'm attracted to you, we gonna do the do, baby. And I'm not gonna be ashamed by it. I'm not gonna run around and I did this, I did it. There ain't nothing like that. If I wanna do it, I'm gonna do it. You know what I'm saying? If I wanna talk about it, I'm gonna talk about it. And if I don't, I don't. Fuck you tell me. About it. And if it wasn't good, it never happened. <laughs> I'm gonna just say we was in Walmart. Because one thing about me, I'm always in fucking Walmart. So we had to be in Walmart when we ran into each other. And like I said, she approached me. We got them catching up. We shooting the shit. I be seeing you on YouTube. You be on YouTube going up. I love your videos. You so funny. Where was all this energy in high school? Because in high school, you was so quiet. I'm still the same way. Fuck you to me. I'm not, you know what I'm saying? When I'm in person, I don't act like this in person. I got to wait till I get you alone. And then I can show you what the fuck I really act like. You know what I'm saying? But <laughs> fast forward, maybe like a week we fucking <laughs> yeah and i'm talking about we were doing some things nigga we was doing some things fuck you talking about like nasty you know what i'm saying like unprotected <laughs> like, like of course it's unprotected bitch it's two coochies no literally like we was doing some things you know what i'm saying so one thing about her though she still stayed at mom's crib you know what i'm saying and let, let me hold on let me let <laughs> the fucking the youtube fucking police let me goddamn clear up I, this is no slander to people who still stay with their parents this is no slander to people, if you still live at home with your guardian or your parent or your grandma or your great uncle, your great auntie, fuck you to my, y'all bitches, y'all bitches would be fine and shit to be mad about. Shut up and go touch some fucking grass. Fuck you to my. She still stay at mom dude's crib, you know what I'm saying? But like, one thing about me, I don't give a fuck. I'm fucking, especially like right now, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you want me to be honest, right now, times are fucking hard. So like, of course, like, especially no fucking slander, like, like to the people that still at the crib or the people who never left, Fuck that, you know what I'm saying? Ta nigga, bills, <laughs> rent, nigga, groceries, water bill, light bill, depending on where you live, what type of utilities you paying for. Yeah, fuck that. Car note, hey, you <laughs> fuck you talking about Netflix, nigga, Apple Music, and you gotta eat. And I, I especially feel for the motherfuckers who got little goddamn babies. Yeah, hell, nigga, fuck you talking about. If you stay with your parents, nigga, I think you are intelligent. <laughs> I think you're doing well in life right now. Fuck you talking about. Although we had graduated in 2015, she was still at the career with mama type shit, you know what I'm saying? So, like, one thing about this little bitch, though, is, like, I guess I guess since we was grown, her mama was just more so, like, whatever type shit. Because, like, I kind of feel like I wouldn't have pulled this if I was in high school, you know what I'm saying? Like, one thing about me, like, when I was younger, I was kind of timid. Like, I was more so, like, kind of standoffish. But now I step up in the bitch shit, uh, put my foot down, fuck you talking about, hello, how are you, my name, you know what I'm saying? But, like, when I was in high school... Honestly, I probably knew I would have never came around. Even if she, even if she told me like her mama, even if she'd have been like, "My mom said you can come," I probably never would have got down. You know what I'm saying? So, so um, let me let me tell y'all. Whenever we would do these these raunchy, devilish activities, we were at her mom. Obviously, you know what I'm saying? Like we were at her mama house nonstop every time. You know what I'm saying? She would come to my spot sometimes, yeah, but like all the time. Like anytime she would just be in a mood, she'd be like, "Yeah, can you come over real quick?" I'm talking about, I get that mother like, bam, 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 bam. Fuck you, like, <laughs> you hear me? Like, and they're going crazy, like, while her mama was home. And, oh my God. I'm going to hell, y'all. But it just gets so much more insane. Keep up. Fuck you, talking about. A couple times, I'm just in that motherfucking light. Goddamn. Me cat, me cat, me cat, me cat. You know what I'm saying? I'm in the bedroom going crazy, going bananas, nigga. Like, her mama was home type shit, but like, I ain't give a fuck because she ain't give a fuck. Fuck you talking about. But, like, obviously, we weren't being disrespectful. Like, we not in there, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, we not in there. What's that post? And it was, like, <laughs> that post, and it was, like, I don't care who home. They gonna know you got some good dick. I'm gonna be in there, like, roar. Fuck me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It was nothing like that, bro. Literally, like, we were being respectful, obviously. But, like, the fact that, like, 
we doing this though and you know your mama like down the goddamn hall or your mama downstairs making goddamn spaghetti and shit you know what I'm saying i done knocked your goddamn lace back and your mama yelling up the steps talking about something hey y'all i just made some spaghetti i just made some macaroni i just finished stirring your daughter macaroni you know isn't it like it's wild right <laughs> Like I said, this maybe had been going on for like two months. You know what I'm saying? Like we was two months persistently like fucking type shit in her mama house. Mama would be there sometimes. Mama wouldn't be there sometimes type shit. Okay, so cool. It started getting to the point where she was just getting super comfortable. Like it got to the point where like she had a spare key and she gave it to me type shit. Why are you giving me a key to your house? This is not your house. This is your mama house. You know what I'm saying? But like the mama didn't even care. Y'all, now keep up. Keep up. You know what I'm saying? I told y'all the daughter on the scale of one to ten, the daughter was a ten. Do you hear me? Like... I'm talking about like even in school the bitch was bad but for some reason after we graduated and now that we were becoming grown women it's like she got badder right fucking shoot time i got down the mom, what that nigga said on scary movie titties so goddamn long and big you gotta put her in a full nelson just to lick them <laughs> that bitch had them damn orangutan <laughs> hey what drake said i love the way they hang babe fuck the silicone no literally i don't give a fuck i don't give a fuck if them motherfuckers hanging out longer than a fucing teenager passes curfew they titties. <laughs> Them titties is titting. <laughs> One thing about me, I do not care. I love that natural shit. I'm not going to slander you because your titties by your belly button. I'm going to pick them up. <laughs> look, look how low I can get. This is what I be doing. I can get low. Fuck you. <laughs> I, will, I will meet them down here. Fuck you talking about. I will literally get in the elevator. I will. Bing. Don't even worry about it, but I'm going to go down here and handle it. Fuck you talking about. <laughs> but like, I got to describe her just so y'all can understand because I feel like I need y'all to hear me out and hear me good. If y'all were in a situation, y'all did the same thing. Hear me and hear me good. Titties, goddamn. You hear me? Fucking waist was just like, like some Coca-Cola bottle shit, right? Then you get down to like her thighs and her ass. It was just like... I was just like, God, y'all you know what I'm saying? Like, why is it? <laughs> why do women become so fine the older we get? What is that about? You know what I'm saying? Like, why, like, like when I was young, I was a weirdo. When I was young, I looked like goddamn Ed, Ed and, and Eddie. Fuck you, tell me, I look like all three of them. But now it's like, you know what I'm saying? I still look a little weird, but I'm cute. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I went from Ed, Ed and Eddie to like flapjack. You know what I'm saying? Right? Like, right now I'm getting very much flapjack, but I'm still cute. You know what I'm saying? And I just know, like, when I hit my 30s, Bitch, I'm going to be in this motherfucker looking like goddamn Courage the Cowardly Dog. <laughs> That's going to be, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to be in my prime. <laughs> I'm going to be cute as hell. You know what I'm saying? Courage is cute. Fuck you talking about. She was fine, right? My color. Mm, just body was just amazing, right? Hair long. Her real hair long as fuck. And she's one of them bitches that wore wigs and long ass lashes. Now I don't give a fuck. I like all that little ghetto. That little ghetto shit. Here come ghetto ghetto and the two twins. Fuck you talking about word to Esquire. Here come ghetto ghetto and the two twins. I like all that little shit. Bitch, you and this motherfucker looking, looking like bats. Fuck you talking about giving very much goddamn Halle Berry. Fine as hell. Now mind y'all, I said she stayed with her mama, right? Hey, Nick and Carla. <laughs> I'm begging them. Nick and Carla, tell the mommies to tap in. Do you hear me? I'm so dead ass. Tell the mommies to tap in, Nick and Carla. I love grown women. I don't give a fuck. I don't care. I don't care. You know what I'm saying? Like, hear me and hear me good. I'm a grown woman myself, so it's not weird. I don't give a fuck. I'm 25, yes, but I'm going to be 26. <laughs> for, for anybody like, you know what I'm saying? For anybody just like, uh-uh, she too young. No, I'm not, baby. Give me a chance. <laughs> I love grown women. Like, I don't give a fuck if you got them 42. I don't care. I can be 42. I'm going to be 42 soon. Just fuck with me real quick. You know what I'm saying? Real quick. By the time you blink, by the time you notice it, I'm going to be 32. You know what I'm saying? Fuck with me. <laughs> right? It, it just started to get to the point where, like, the bitch gave me the, the copy key. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is her mama house, like I keep saying. Why are you giving me a copy to your mama house? You know what I'm saying? Like, I had a key, y'all. Like, I tell y'all, like, the mama did not give a fuck. She didn't give a fuck. So one thing about me, I'm especially not going to give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? But like, of course, like I keep saying, I was not disrespectful. I wasn't just goddamn, you know, in her shit. Just goddamn. Wham, wham, wham. Bitch, I'm the baby. I mean, I was. I was doing that to her the baby. Obviously, being a parent, you not slow type shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know when your child is being sexually active. We wasn't making it known. You know what I'm saying? But it's still the fact that like, we had a lot going on and her mama would be home. Not like most of the time. 90% of the time, her mama would be home type shit, right? It's starting to get to the point where like, she wouldn't even be home sometimes and she would still have me pull up like she'll text me or she'll call me like hey i'm up the street just getting some ice cream i'm gonna be back but like just pull up because by the time you get there i'm gonna be pulling in like y'all it started getting to the point where like i would be coming in all times of the night and it like and look look all the mommies hear me out and hear me good like you said i'm not no disrespectful bitch 
unless you want me to be. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> it started getting to the point, like, I would be coming in, like, 1 a.m., 2 a.m. We would be high as fuck, got snacks and food and shit. I would be leaving out 4 a.m., coming back 6 a.m., knocking the bitch down, leaving out 11 a.m. type shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, it was insane. Her mama was letting me leave in and out the house like I was her daughter as well type shit. And mind y'all, of course the bitch had a daddy. I just don't know where the fuck the daddy was. It was never no niggas at the house neither. Like, it was just always her and her mama. If she wasn't at the crib, it would just be her mama. She would just have me at her house, at her mama house, just sitting in that motherfucker. Like, one time I pulled up and I was in a car and, like, they got a little ring shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, they got a little doorknob motherfucker. I remember her calling me like, why are you still sitting in the car? And I was like, because I'm waiting on you. And she was like, you can go in my mama in there. Nigga, you know what I'm saying? But like, do that not sound, you know what I'm saying? Like, at this time, I'm not trying to just burst up in her shit. You know what I'm saying? And even if I do ring the doorbell or knock and she let me in, it's still the fact that like, I'm fucking her daughter. <laughs> and you think, you know what I'm saying? Like, we not married. You know what I'm saying? I don't even think we was calling each other girlfriends. I honest, We honestly was just fucking, y'all. You know what I'm saying? So like, it just started getting to the point where like, she just started getting hella comfortable. And I was just like, this is crazy. But I was not complaining. You know what I'm saying? And the mama wasn't saying shit. The mama would just let me in. Hey, baby, how you doing? If you hungry, is that in there? If you want this, is that in there? Let me know if you leave because I'm a lot to do behind you. Oh, matter of fact, so-and-so gave you a key. If you leave out, just make sure you lock my door. Don't leave my door unlocked. Literally, nigga. If you come back, just make sure you knock first or you text what's the name first and let her know you in the house with me. Nigga, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm like coming in and out this motherfucker like I'm paying rent. You know what I'm saying? So, um, I just like, fuck it. Fuck you talking about? Like, she, she ain't got no problem with it. The mama ain't got no problem with it. I ain't got no problem with it. Fuck you talking about. So, I'm fast forward, right? Now, mind y'all, like I said, this shit was going on for like two months, nigga. So, fast forward, fast forward. Like, this bitch would be out running errands, but would want me at her crib, in her room, like, waiting on her with the dick on. You know what I'm saying? Like, like literally, y'all, like, when I tell y'all we was just fucking, like, literally, that's what it was. And I did not, I did not once complain. You, you want some coochie? I'm like, <laughs> look, one thing about me, I have it. I, you know what I'm saying? I will give it out. <laughs> I don't mind. Fuck you talking about. So, like, she would hit me up, like, hey, I'm out. I'm doing Instacart right now, but, like, just go to my spot. Say less. Fuck you talking about strap pack, strap pack. <laughs> I used to get in that motherfucker and just be chilling. I would turn her TV on in her room, kicked up, relaxed, TV on, eating snacks and shit. And her mama would literally just be in the house walking around doing mama shit. You know what I'm saying? So, um, it's one day, right? I remember the first thing I did when I woke up was hit her up. And she was like, um, I think she told me like she, I don't know where the fuck she was at. But she told me her mama made like breakfast or like she made brunch or something. And one thing about her mama, that motherfucker. If you watch this video, I know you watch this video because you a mommy and all the, you know what I'm saying? One thing about me, I'm going to attract them cougars. I'm going to attract them milfs. And I am not going to turn y'all beautiful ass away. I don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? I don't give a fuck about all them kids. Them ain't my kids. Fuck you talking about? And y'all remember that debate not too long ago? Like, if you get your child some McDonald's, you should get all the kids McDonald's. And everybody talking about something. No, them ain't my kids. One thing about me. One thing about Big Taco. We all going to eat. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? Them ain't my kids, but I'm going to care for them like they my kids, baby. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I love the mommies. So anyway, <laughs> shit, she was like, my mama made like my mama made food type shit. And if you want to come over, like you can come over, but I'm not home yet. But I'm on the way type shit. Nah, it's just like I was like, okay, well, just let me know when you get closer. And she was like, no, like just go over there now because like I kind of just want you already there. I don't want to wait. You know what I'm saying? Look, that bitch said, that bitch said she don't want to wait. Wham, wham, wham. <laughs> Bitch, I'm a baby. Fuck you, summer. I got over there and I'm, I'm sitting in my car. Like always. One thing about me, I'm gonna sit in my car. One thing about I just got, you know what I'm saying? I just gotta decompress a little bit. So I'm sitting in the car type shit. The door open, like the front door to her mama house open. And it's her mama. She doing like this. So I was like, okay, fuck. So I turned the car up, um, got out. I walked in. I was like, hey, how you doing? She's like, hey, how you doing? She's like, if you want to eat, you can go in there and just fix you a plate. Like you know where everything at, you need to fix a plate. I was like, okay, cool. I went in there type shit, I'm eating, uh, uh, uh. And now the daughter here, you know what I'm saying? Now the daughter, like, literally walking in, literally as soon as I sit down and I'm, like, starting to eat, the daughter walk in type shit. She comes to the table, she rubbing on me, she kissing on me, uh-uh-uh. She like, is it good? I'm like, hell yeah. She make her a quick little plate real quick, like, nothing too major, nothing too serious. She didn't pile the motherfucker. She took, like, two goddamn pieces of food and a little drink. She ate that real quick, and she was like, I'm gonna go shower. And then when you finish, just, like, come upstairs to the room. I said, okay, cool. She leave out, you know what I'm saying? Now, hear me, hear me good, keep up. She leave out. <laughs> and she go, you know what I'm saying? She go, she go, hop in the shower after she just finished eating a little shit. She go, type shit, like she said. <laughs> I need y'all to hear me because y'all not, look, y'all not gonna crucify me on Chloe Bailey internet. Fuck that. So, uh, she leave out. 
She go hop in the shower type shit. I'm still eating there. I'm still stuffing my face. One thing about me, I'm going to eat. You know what I'm saying? All my beautiful black women. If you cook, baby, one thing about me, food don't go to waste with me. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to eat everything you make, baby. One thing about me, I'm going to eat the whole plate. And if you got dessert, I'm going to eat that too. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> look, I got to I gotta convince the mommies, bro. <laughs> mommies, tap in, bro. <laughs> I'm sitting there, I'm, 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 I'm eating like it's the last supper type shit. Her mama come back out. So her mama in the kitchen, she talking to me. She looking around, she doing little mama shit. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I really don't know what mamas be doing, but I love y'all so much. Cause y'all just be doing mama shit on oh God. She moving shit around the kitchen. She putting shit up. Uh, uh, uh. This was like the first instance I just picked up on some shit with that bitch. Cause one thing about me, that gator be going crazy, right? Y'all got gators? I hope y'all do. It's like spidey senses, but for faggots. <laughs> I gotta, I, gotta, I gotta be careful where I use that word because y'all be trying to cancel me. That girl gonna come back and comment. Oh, I'm humble about being a faggot. Okay, what the fuck? Okay, okay mega dyke, good for you. <laughs> I'm humble about being a dyke. Oh, me too. <laughs> she was in there moving little shit around. She was just like, you really like my daughter. So I'm eating. You know what I'm saying? I look up on the plate. God, I probably had food all in my mouth. One thing about me, I eat like a baby pit bull. Probably got fucking grits and shit all right here. She's like, you really like my daughter? I stopped eating. I was like, I was like, yeah, she she cool. You know what I'm saying? Cause like, cause like, wait, what you trying to set me up? Because like, why you come in here and ask me this after she just left out to go shower? You know what I'm saying? Like, why you wait? I been in here like I was in here like five minutes before she just pulled up. So like, you know, one thing about me, my mind get erasing. So I'm like, this bitch gonna set me up. The daughter gonna come from behind me. She gonna strangle me. <laughs> she gonna throw something on my neck, choke me out. I'm like, you know what I'm saying? I was like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? I was like, yeah, yeah, she cool. Like, what's up? Bitch get to pull in her pants. <laughs> I'm, I'm picking a fork up. I got a fork in my hand. Cause one thing about me, I'm a shanker bitch. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just like, yeah, she cool. <laughs> so I was just asking because like, y'all just spend a lot of time together. I was like, yeah, that's the dog. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, she is. Yeah, like, she's not my girlfriend. Fuck you, so she, that's the dog, for sure. For shit show. That my dog, for sure. Word, little baby. So I was like, yeah, she cool. That's the dog. Yeah, uh, she kind of did, like, a lap around her kitchen type shit. And she was, like, she was doing shit at the dishwasher. Then she would leave, go do shit at her trash can, then come back to the dishwasher. And I'm still eating. She was like, look, when you finish, like, can you just put your plate in the dishwasher and like load these last few little dishes and then just close it for me type shit. She was like, you don't got to start it. Just like put these last few dishes in, put your plate in here and then, you know what I'm saying? Close it. And one thing about me, of course, you know what I'm saying? Like I got, I got, I got home training. I got etiquette, bitch. I'm from the South. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm not going to eat at your goddamn table and then leave a fucking mess. I'm not going to get up and just leave my plate here or not even rinse my plate off. You know what I'm saying? So like, I was like, okay, for sure. You know what I'm saying? And then like, I'm in here knocking your goddamn daughter head through the fucking headboard every other night sure <laughs> yeah you know the least i can do <laughs> the least i can do is put my plate in your dishwasher you know what i'm saying i'll be putting my plastic in your daughter i say yeah for sure <laughs> so you know i finish my little plate right get up scrape the scraps off in the trash can then i make my way to the sink rinse it off type shit then you know what i'm saying i'm bent over look look <laughs> I got turned to the side. Cause like, I got turned to the side. What are you talking about? Like, bent over type shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, I got down, you know, I'm, I'm working my move at dishwasher. And like I told him on the podcast, one thing about me, I'm not going to hold you. I don't know how to load no dishes. <laughs> In my defense, growing up, we did not use dishwashers. You know what I'm saying? Like, one thing about me, my mama taught us how to manual wash. What are you talking about? The dishwasher was a, a goddamn, that was like, that was something you get when you was being a good child. <laughs> Fuck you talking about. Let me stop, because I'm making my mom sound like Mrs. Hannigan. Fuck you talking about. We love you, Mrs. Hannigan. <laughs> we love you, Miss Shut up. No, for real, but like, dead ass, like, it was six of us in the house plus my mom and my daddy. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's a lot of plates. That's a lot of motherfuckers eating. That's a lot of spoons, forks, cups, and plates. I'm not gonna put all this in a goddamn dishwasher when it's six of y'all. Wash. <laughs> dead ass. Like, I'm like, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to do my best. I'm trying to move shit around, make shit fit because, like, I'm not going to hold y'all to this day. I still don't know how to load a dishwasher. I just throw that shit in there. One thing about me, though, I'm going to rinse my plate, and then I'll put it in a dishwasher. And maybe if I'm feeling too lazy that day, I'll start it. But the dishwasher is not my first go-to. You know what I'm saying? It's not my first go-to. One thing about me, I'm going to wash my dishes. So um, I'm in there trying to move shit around, trying to make shit fit. <laughs> Look, this is legit how I was on that dishwasher. I'm like, I'm motherfucking cake pan. <laughs> Goddamn. What the fuck is this? Man, what the fuck? This bitch in here cooking crack. Fuck you like I'm legit, you know what I'm saying? I'm legit trying to make shit fit. Um, I'm at dishwasher. Why do I feel something on my lower back? You know what I'm saying? And like I said, I'm kinda like bent though. <laughs> bitch got down, drop down and get your ego on. <laughs> no for real. No for real. So I'm like this, right? I feel something on my lower back. I'm like, oh, you know what I'm saying? Like I stood up. Ooh, fuck you to my stood up quick. 
It's her mom. <laughs> it's the mommies, nigga. Where your mom's at, nigga? Where your mom at, nigga? You know what I'm saying? Like, her mommies, nigga. Like, where are the mommies? We jumped a little bit, and I dropped the plate a little bit. And she was like, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. She's like, I, I scared you. Hell no, you ain't scared me, bitch. You just made my pussy start throbbing. Why you in here touching me? <laughs> I will bend your ass over this damn dishwasher. We gonna switch positions. Word to usher. We finna be trading places. Don't do no shit like that. I'm oh, sorry, I'm sorry. I scared you. I was like, no, nah, you just... <laughs> <laughs> fuck you talking about i love grown women one thing about me y'all made me nervous fuck you talking about i'm stuttering slipping up over my words i, t t I uh, fuck you talking about t -t 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 today junior air, 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 today junior <laughs> <laughs> no real shit i was like nah, i was like nah i'm, I'm straight so um push that motherfucker in right closed it she was like okay well thank you i was like you know what I'm saying? Walked out. <laughs> Walked out nervous. Oh my God, I want to fuck her. <laughs> in her goddamn daughter room. The daughter finishing up her shower type shit. And you know, from there, like, we kind of just chill. We was watching a movie. Woo, woo, woo. And then, you know, we started being nasty. Fast forward, fast forward, fast forward, fast forward, right? Anytime I was at her house or anytime I was even just around her mama, even if we would go out to, like, goddamn Lennox or if we would go out and goddamn go downtown or some shit, go to the movies, go to the mall. If her mama tagged along, one thing I know, I didn't tell them all this on the podcast, but like, I was around her mama a lot, you know what I'm saying? And one thing I always noticed about her mama, she would stare. You know what I'm saying? Like, I would catch her staring. Like, if we would go out, goddamn, either I would drive or the daughter would drive, you know what I'm saying? Or sometimes the mama would drive. No matter the placement that I was in the car, I would look up and I would see her mama looking at me. So her mama in the back seat, I could see her mama looking at me in the damn rear view mirror. It, it like nonstop, like no matter where I was at, no matter what we was doing, no matter like the area we was in, her mama would stare. And like one thing about her mama, she was wearing these big ass goddamn, I don't know, you just know older black women be so dramatic with y'all styles. I love it. It's like y'all, <laughs> it got a bitch collapsing. I'm bending my knees and shit. Y'all just be so dramatic with y'all style. I just be like, bitch, you and this motherfucker looking like zone with the wind. Fuck you, tell me, bitch. I want to, mm. you know what I'm saying? Uh -huh, let me grab you. <laughs> it's a fucking hat, big ass fedoras and shit. Y'all be wearing big ass goddamn sunflower seed hats and shit. Big ass goggles, big ass ladybug goggles. I'm like, I mean, you look like something from goddamn Greece. Fuck you, tell me. Rest in peace, Olivia. <laughs> Rest in peace, Sandy, y'all. Sandy died. <laughs> That's what I wanted to talk about in the beginning of the video, y'all. Rest in peace with Sandy. Fuck you talking about you the one that I want. You are the one I want. Who, 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 honey. Fuck you talking about I, that's how I was to her mama. <laughs> her mama was just like, her style was just so dramatic, but she was older, so she made it look good, y'all. Finer than a motherfucker, literally. Like, fine as hell. Like, like I said, the daughter on a scale of 1 to 10, the daughter was a 10. On a scale of 1 to 10, the mama was a 20. Fuck you talking about. Give me 10 two times, the mama was a 20. Fuck you talking about. The mama was a dub. <laughs> you hear me? Word to yeet, a dub. I told him on the podcast, I said, the mama and the daughter duo, they were like those posts that you be seeing and it'd be like, which one's the mom and which one's the daughter. You know what I'm saying? But it only really be working for black women. Fuck you talking about. Because like, you know, some of y'all, <laughs> well, you know, I'm not going to say no race, but you know, some of y'all. Some of y'all be giving very much goddamn great grandma and goddamn great great auntie. And then you go to the comments and it'd be like, this is the mom and this is the daughter. I'd be like, damn! <laughs> damn, I, th I thought that was goddamn. I thought that was her goddamn great grandma. <laughs> but you know, like with black women, fuck you to me. The mama be looking like the damn daughter and the daughter be looking like the damn mama. But like, they both be looking goddamn, you know what I'm saying? Just beautiful nigga, like black don't crack type shit. So like her and her mama, they was like that. It was giving very much that. They would be together and you would just have to look at both of them and just be like, who the fuck? You know what I'm saying? But I said on a podcast, the only reason you knew the mama was the mama was because she was so goddamn voluptuous and just, she had the mama. But y'all know I said this in one of my other videos, the mama body. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Y'all know how mamas be built, you know what I'm saying? Like, like you got a body like you carry the baby. I don't know. Right? Because <laughs> I was just, I was about to power up. I got to calm down for real. She had the arm. <laughs> Y'all know I love that fucking arm shit. The arm was just like, you know what I'm saying? And she had a little dimple. Come on. I said this in one of my other videos. Come on. Like, mm, you know, like, wouldn't it be, you know what I'm talking about? I know, I know y'all know what I'm talking about. Because one of y'all big pretty asses watching this shit. You know what I'm talking about? You got the arms that look like you know how to make fucking sweet potato pie from scratch. You fine bitch. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm getting, getting so aggressive. You know what I'm talking about? Wouldn't it be like, oh, and this, this be like. Mm, you know what I'm saying? It'd be like, it'd be like so much right here. And then they have the dimple.
<laughs> she had the thighs to match. She had the ass to match, the hips to match, the titties to match. She had a little pudge because she, you know what I'm saying? She had a kid. Who cares, though? I don't give a fuck about that pudge. Let me poke it. Let me put my head on that motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Fine. And then she just, you know what I'm saying? She carried herself like she was a grown woman. You know what I'm saying? So, like, that's, on, that's the only reason you could tell that she was a mama. But other than that, when you had them two next to each other, Nigga, I'm talking about, I'm like, I'm about to knock both of y'all down at the same time. Not even on no weird incest porn hub shit. But I was real close. <laughs> One thing I noticed about her mama though, she would stare. Like, like I'm talking about, she would look at me like she never seen a goddamn like dyke before. Like, that's how hard she, like, and it wouldn't be like a disrespectful stare. It wouldn't be a stare like, I can't believe my daughter like eating pussy. It was a stare like, I can't believe my daughter eating pussy. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I want to try. Fast forward a little bit more, right? So... Like I said, whenever the mama around, the mama just stare type shit. And, like, the mama was a sweetheart. Like, she wasn't disrespectful. She wasn't fucking insane. She wasn't goddamn, you need to tell this bitch stop coming in and out of my house. Y'all need to start having sex with my... She was literally, like, just calm. Anytime I came around, she was just quiet and just calm. But she would fucking stare. And she always used to cook. And, like I said, she never had no nigga. Like, it was never... You know what I'm saying? Like, I just feel like, like, if you single or, like, if you, if you got one of them baby daddy situations... I just feel like like y'all always got like a little nigga on the side, you know what I'm saying? Like I always feel like y'all got like like extra two niggas, like whatever your baby daddy don't handle, the other two niggas will type shit. You know what I'm saying? Her mama, it was nothing like that. Like I never seen no nigga at the house. I never even heard her on the phone with a nigga. Like I never even heard the daughter mention a nigga. Like just it was just always me and a daughter and a mama in the house. Fast forward, fast forward, fast forward type shit. It was another day. And I think the daughter, I think the daughter was still asleep type shit. Like, I remember waking up and I went to the restroom. And one thing about the way their house was set up, her daughter room was big as fuck. Like, it was huge. And, like, I remember it led out onto a balcony. So, like, in her room, it was a door. And you could open that door and go stand on, like, this little ledge, like, this little balcony type shit. It was that big, but the bathroom was not connected. You know what I'm saying? Like, the bathroom wasn't connected to her room. So, to get to the bathroom, you would have to leave and go down the hallway just a tad bit. Not too far. But you had to go down the hallway and get her bathroom. That's where her bathroom was at. So, I'm right. I'm goddamn. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't goddamn. Well, well, well. Bitch, I'm a little baby type shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, literally. TV was still on. So, like, I'm just kind of sitting there watching TV. And I decided to just, like, finally get up, go brush my teeth, go pee type shit. I'm going down the hallway. And you know what I'm saying? The mama's already up. But, like, they laundry room, like, they where they washer and dryer would be, it was upstairs as well type shit. So, as I'm going to the bathroom, I have to pass the laundry room. The, mo the mama in there got them folding towel. Woo, woo, woo. So, I'm just like, T. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm like, I gotta go. That The fact that she touched my back, that just always replayed in my head. Like, it don't matter. Like, like to y'all, it was probably like a, a little friendly, like a motherly goddamn. Thank you for putting my dishes in the dishwasher. Fuck no. To me, it was a goddamn... I want you to pull my hair and fuck me from the back. And I'm, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm in the bathroom, doing little shit, brushing my teeth, uh-uh-uh, wiping my face, uh-uh-uh. And then from there, I just went downstairs and I, like, grabbed, like, a bottle of water. Her mama down there now. So now we down there talking again. And she was like, I, I just want to ask you so many questions, but I don't want you to think I'm, like, disrespectful or, like, I'm questioning, like, your sexuality. And I, you know what I'm saying? Like, one thing about me, baby, I'm an open book. That shit don't, you know what I'm saying? Like, nothing hurt my feelings. I really don't give a fuck. If you're curious, you're curious. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's how you learn, nigga. I would rather people, I would rather people ask and assume. But of course, like, people gonna do both. But like, honestly, I would rather people ask and assume. Because one thing about me, I tell you, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not being ignorant about it. I'm not, mind your motherfucking bitch. Eh, not that serious. How do you, how do you expect people to learn? You know what I'm saying? People don't ask questions. How do you expect people to learn? And that's me right now. Like, when it comes to like transgenders and like non-binary. Although I am a part of the fucking alphabet soup community. Although I am a lesbian, you still have to learn. You know what I'm saying? It's so much new shit coming out. And, like, the last thing I want to do is just, like, be blinded by fucking the fact that I don't understand something. Because I feel like when you when you sit and you just let yourself just not learn and not fucking grow with the way that the world is growing and changing, that's when people become ignorant and people start fearing what they don't understand. And people, oh, it don't make sense. Y'all doing too much. It's, it's stupid. It don't take all that. All these new things. All these new these new pronouns. Y'all just making this shit up as you go. No, bitch, you just stupid. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? You just stupid and you just ignorant and you just scared. You know what I'm saying? Because it, it's not that hard to just ask somebody, well, why do you? You know what I'm saying? Why is that? Why is it this way? Why is it that way? When this goes down, what do you do? What should I refer to you as? You know what I'm saying? It's that simple, bitch. You just dumb. Fuck you to my... And, and you know what I'm saying? The more I learn, that, that's what I'm starting to realize. A lot of y'all are just dumb. <laughs> I, I, I don't like... I don't want to make you uncomfortable. Like, I just... I'm just trying to figure out, like... I don't know. Like, I want to ask you questions about my daughter... 
But at the same time, I, I want to ask you questions about yourself personally. First question I want to ask you is like, do you really think my daughter is gay? Or do you think it's just like a little phase? Or do you think she bisexual? And I was just looking at her and I was like, I was like, if you want me to be honest, man, it's in, because like, y'all, I, I really wanted to be like, the way your daughter be sucking on my clit, she's a, she's a faggot. No, <laughs> yeah, look, hold on. It's just like, I was like, if you want me to be honest, I was like, the fact that she's at this age, and mind y'all, like I said, this was recent, like, not recent, like last year, but it was recent. You know what I'm saying? It was recent. <laughs> I'm like, we were already grad, like we was, you know what I'm saying? I'm in my 20s. This happened while I was in my 20s. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna say too much, but it happened. You know what I'm saying? So like, I was like, the fact that your daughter is at this age now and this, and she's like starting to partake in these activities now, I don't think it's a phase. I was like, maybe like if she was doing all this in high school and then she would have grew a little bit more, grew into herself a little bit more and realized like it was just something she was doing because like she was sexual and she was horny at that age and she was starting to find herself. But I was like, if we the age that we are now and she partaking in these activities, I said, it, it ain't no phase. It's probably something that she liked. And I was like, if you want me to be honest, I wouldn't put no label on your daughter. Like, I wouldn't call her lesbian. I wouldn't call her bisexual. I would just say, like, she just she just enjoys who make her feel good. Like, she like people type shit. You know what I'm saying? And I know a lot of people like that. I like that. Do what make you feel good. You don't have to, you know what I'm saying? Like, like one thing about me, I know I just preach about the whole, like, you got to, like, respect people labels. You got to respect people pronouns. I stand on that. But at the same time, I honestly feel like you don't have to put a label on shit if you don't want to. You know what I'm saying? You in particular, I'm not speaking, like, don't go up to no goddamn non-binary person and tell them, like, I'm not going to label. It don't work like that. You know what I'm, saying? <laughs> I'm talking about you in particular, you know what I'm saying? Like, anybody who watching this, if they not too sure about what's going on with their body, you don't have to label it, baby. Ain't nobody, you know what I'm saying? It's not that serious. Just enjoy your life and make sure you're not harming nobody. Make sure you're not harming yourself. Whatever feel good to you, it feel good to you. It don't got to make sense to other people. You don't have to label it if you don't want to. If other people want to label you, then you know what I'm saying? Let people label you. Because at the end of the day, niggas going to say what they want to say, but they don't know you like you know you. You know what I'm saying? So, fuck it. If somebody come to me and be like, oh, Taco, I wouldn't necessarily call you a stud. That's okay, because I don't necessarily call myself a stud. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't label myself neither. I just know I, I'm a woman and I like women. And the way I present myself is masculine. But when you get to know me, I'm very feminine type shit. And then people come in and like, oh, well, you're a stem. <sighs> I guess. I don't I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't care. I just I just pull your pussy out <laughs> and let me show you mine. Maybe we could connect them later on. You know what I'm saying? Like, I really don't care. How do you know her? How did you know? When did you know her? What did it feel like? What you be doing with my daughter and woo 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 type shit? And like when when she started getting like to the sexual questions and it started getting to the shit about her daughter, like I said this on my podcast, like I wasn't thinking she was being weird. Like I didn't take it as like she getting turned on by I'm telling her like what I be doing with her daughter. I think it's just more so she was honestly just like fucking curious. Like my daughter's a girl and you're a girl. So the fact that she keep bringing you over to my house, you gotta be doing something. Like what are you doing type shit? You know what I'm saying? Damn, motherfucker, I'm shot. show you. <laughs> I, I can show you better than I can tell you. Fuck you talking about, bitch. This is show and tell. And I'm gonna do both. <laughs> if you want me to be honest, I just feel like women find comfort in women because we understand each other type shit. Like, yeah, you know saying just trying to be grown and like not be disrespectful about it. But like, that's le legit what I told her. I was like, women find comfort in other women because we understand each other. You know what I'm saying? Like, some of these women still like men as well. But like, some women, you know what I'm saying? Some women only like women. Some women only like men some women like men and women woo, 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 you know what i'm saying but i feel, I was just like i honestly feel like after a while you just gone you know what i'm saying if it's if it's something that you feel in your body if it's like a something that you want to try that's been there you know what i'm saying like that's not something that's just gonna come out of nowhere i was telling her i was like i feel like it's been there like you trying to talk about you trying to figure out like how would you know i was like you just gonna know you know what i'm saying like it you felt that for a while this is not nothing new this is not new because you see your daughter bringing over a little dyke girl that's been you been feeling that type all right y'all it's, it's like a little steep you know what i'm saying y'all can judge me i don't give a fuck because it already happened fast forward fast forward like i told y'all this all was happening like within a span of like two months type shit so uh you know goddamn one day right <laughs> Oh Lord! <laughs> mm. <laughs> what y'all Christians be saying? I gotta find, I gotta find a safety in the Lord. I gotta find some sort of, <laughs> and y'all be jumping and pouncing and doing all that. <laughs> That's what I be having to do sometimes. I be like, mm, 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 mm. <laughs> <Ooh. laughs> some of that bitch, I'm gonna turn me into a Christian because I said I'm gonna go to hell. But it is okay. Fuck you, come fast forward, right? It's one day. Me and her had planned. We been planning to go to goddamn Six Flags, right? 
Ed's had to be around October because it was Fright Fest time. I'm back, you know what I'm saying? I'm back on my side, you know what I'm saying? I hadn't, I hadn't been in her house in a little minute type shit. It's just, nothing was happening. It's just like, I was just telling her like, I need to go like lock in, <laughs> lock in if I tweak out. I was like, I be over here a lot. I be fucking you a lot. Like I need to go do some things on my side. Like I need to go record type shit. I need to go handle business type shit. So um, I probably wasn't at Shotty House for like two days type shit, right? She was like, after I get my nails done, like we can just go from there. And I was like, okay, cool. So she hit me up. She had the nail salon. One thing, like one thing I said, like she's one of them bitches who got them long, dramatic ass. You know what I'm saying? Like everything about her was just dramatic type shit. Just like her damn mama. The bitch is literally like a little, a little mom. Fuck you talking about. Like she was dramatic. The mama was dramatic. So one thing about her, her nails took forever, nigga. Like anytime she would get her nails done, she would be in the fucking nail shop for like two to three hours. And I remember I went with her one time and I literally got in her car and left. And I like went to Target and I was like, I'm not doing this. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not sitting here, bitch. I got to go. Like my fucking eight, my ADHD kicking in, my autism kicking in. <laughs> Let me stop saying that. No, for real, but I was just like, I gotta go. Like I'm itching to literally do something. So it's like, yeah, I'm, I'm just now getting to the nail salon, but like once I'm finished, we'll go from there. Woo, woo, woo. I was like, okay, cool. So you know what I'm saying? I'm getting, I'm getting up, uh, shower, I'm put that shit on. Niggas get shit on. You know what I'm saying? I'm getting dressed. The plan was already for me to just go to her house and meet her at her house, right? So I was just going to go to her house. But obviously, like I said, it takes her so long to get her nails done. I wasn't just going to go to her house and sit there the entire two, three hours. I was just going to be out doing little shit until she texts me like, okay, now I'm on the way to my house. And I was going to go to her house and we was going to go from there, right? So I'm out. I think like I probably hit Starbucks and I probably hit like goddamn somewhere and got like goddamn little food or something. Probably Chick-fil-A some shit. I don't fucking know, right? So oh, I got my coffee, I got my food. So she called me. She in the, in the goddamn mail salon, right? Loud as hell. She like, hey, um, I need you to go grab my wallet because my wallet is at my house. And I was like, yeah, I got you. And she was like, like, I'm not done yet, but I was just like, in advance, I'm just letting you know because I don't know what else you doing. And I was like, yeah, okay, for sure. I'll go grab it and then I drop it off type shit, right? What's five, five, five? You know, one thing about me, I said, I'm gonna sit in my car and decompress, you know what I'm saying? And like, again, like I told y'all, she would be in the nail salon so long. And mind y'all, she had just got there. So it's just like, why am I in a rush to bring you your wallet? And you not even nowhere near done, bitch. You getting these long ass velociraptor claws. Fuck you talking about. Like, you're not gonna be done anytime soon. So I pulled up in her driveway, I'm sitting there. And I finally get out of the car and I go knock. I go ring the doorbell. I knock, I ring the doorbell, I knock. I called her back. I was like, I'm not going to hold you. I do not have that key. Like, I don't know where it's at, but I don't have it. It's probably somewhere at my house. And she was like, okay, we'll just keep knocking because my mama home. Like, my mama don't do nothing else. She's at home. I knock. I ring the doorbell. I knock. I go back and I go sit back down in the car because I'm just like, fuck it. Fuck you tell me. So then, uh, the door open. So I get out the car. I walk up to the door. The door is like cracked open, right? And now my nigga sense is kicking in. Fuck you tell me. I'm like the fuck you talking about like because this is how scream began i'm not playing them games ghostface killer so i'm like peeping in the door a little bit and she was like you can come in i was like oh, okay bet like it's her mama right so i step up in that motherfucker i'm talking about the bitches in the towel i said <laughs> oh. nigga this is how porn hub starts like every porn i don't give a fuck every porn it don't matter the category it don't matter if you're watching gay <laughs> it don't matter if you're watching trans it don't matter if you're watching old lady it don't matter if you're watching goddamn pov <laughs> ebony fuck you tell me this is how porn starts i said okay she got towel on right it like soap and just water like all in the foyer you know what i'm saying like right by the front door all in the foyer and like i literally see her like kind of going back up the steps and she's like i'm so sorry like i was in the tub and i was like no nah, you straight my fault my fault and i was like so and so left her wallet and she's like okay well you can like you know where it's at you just go ahead and grab it and make sure you lock the door behind you so i didn't mention to the mama like i don't have my key like i didn't want to say it because like i'm throwing off right now like because all i saw was like the towel and some soap and some water and she going back up the steps to the tub type shit so I was just like, okay, whatever. You know what I'm saying? So I waited like, goddamn, literally like one minute until she got all the way back to the steps. Because if I would have came with the steps behind her, I would have seen it all up to that towel. And I'm talking about, I would have snatched that motherfucker off her on the steps. And you just would have got, you know what I'm saying? I would have been on the steps like, wham, 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 <laughs> wham, wham, wham. Bitch, I'm the baby. Fuck you, somebody. I would have been on the steps like, yeah, crazy. I'm him. Fuck you, somebody. So I went up steps like shit. Um, bent the corner, went and shot the room. I'm in her room, like, frantic. You know what I'm saying? I said this shit on my podcast. I was in her room literally panicking. Like, I was frantic as fuck. I don't know why. I think I was just nervous. I think I was just, like, I don't know. I was I was overwhelmed because it's just, like, you know what I'm saying? Because, like, like I keep saying, like, 
I just always thought about her mama putting her hand on my lower back. And then, like, on top of that, all the questions and shit, it's just running through my head. Like, how you know you really like girls? How you know my daughter really like girls? What y'all be doing? What you do to her? Why she like you so much? How do I know if I like women? And then I'm just also thinking about the fact that, like, no matter what we do, I just always catch her mama staring at me. So it's so much happening. It's so much going through my head. I'm freaking out a little bit. And I'm just like, oh, my God. So I'm in her room, like, literally knocking shit up. I'm tearing shit up, bitch. I'm in that motherfucker like, wham, wham, wham. <laughs> I'm like, where is her wallet? I got to go, nigga. Like, I'm, like, literally, like, panicking. Like, and as I'm panicking, my pussy, <laughs> the pussy is beating through the drawers. Like, the pussy on the other side of them drawers, like, boop, 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 boop. LAPD. Fuck you. <laughs> and I'm literally like, please, like, this is not the time, bro. Like, come on, man. It's like in and out her room, in and out her room. Like, what the fuck is this fucking wallet? Like, I was looking for that wallet. Like, I was looking for a goddamn, I don't know, like, my goddamn social security card. You ever woke up in the middle of the night, like, where is my social security card? <laughs> That'd be me. Bitch, be. My social security. <laughs> Wake up ugly as hell. I haven't seen my social security. <laughs> Sweat, slob. I be like, ah, I haven't seen my social security card in a month. <laughs> Bitch, go to sleep. It's 4 a.m. Like, literally, I was in her room frantic, y'all. Like, I was like, oh, my God. She texted me, and she was like, did you get in? I was like, yeah, I'm in here looking for it now. She was like, okay, cool. And she was like, like, when you grab it, just, like, come straight to the nail shop type shit. Shut up, bitch. <laughs> shut up, bitch. Fuck you. <laughs> so shut up, bitch. <laughs> oh my God. Bigger issues. I got bigger fish to fry. Literally, your mama. That motherfucker is big. Giving very much goddamn t tuna, man. <laughs> Salmon. And I'm talking. I'm gonna slap her. I'm gonna slap her on the grill. Fuck you. Talking. I'm gonna cook her. Fuck you. Talking. I got there. You know. Next thing I know, like her mama knocking, like on the room door. Now, my y'all, the room door is not closed. Like it's kind of cracked open. So she knock on the room door. And I was like, yes. <laughs> like, I got caught in something I'm not supposed to be in. I was like, yes. And she was like, hey, you like, you making a lot of noise in here. Are you okay? And I was like, I'm just trying to find her wallet. Nigga, why do her mama come in there? She still got a towel on. Why are you doing this? Why are you doing it? What are you doing? Why are you doing this? What are you doing? Why are you doing this? Like, literally just, I am literally had to just re keep repeating the same thing because what are you doing and why are you doing this? What are you talking about? So, she usually just, like, keep it in her car. So, I don't even know why she told you to come back to the house and look for the wallet. And I was like, she told me she had the nail salon and she told me she don't have her wallet. So she just told me to stop out here and kind of like look for it. Man, her mama get the goddamn moving around the room. I'm talking about, you know, she got the towel. You know women, how we cover up with the towel? The towel get to just fucking folding like paper mache. It's literally just like slowly but surely just falling. And she keep, and you know, she keep goddamn, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And bitch, you know you not sorry. I'm finna make you sorry. But you know you not saying, <laughs> finna make you apologize. What are you talking about? So I'm just looking, but I'm not looking, but I'm looking, but I'm not looking. And I'm still looking, but I'm not looking for the wallet. What are you talking about? I'm like, man, fuck that wallet. I done found another wallet. I done found a pocketbook. What are you talking about? And I'm, I'm, finna put my, I'm finna put my change in that motherfucker. I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> we both in the room just like literally looking, but not looking. I'm looking, but I'm not looking. The mama looking, but the mama not looking. You know what I'm saying? And like the energy and the tension in the room, it was just so, I'm just like, I don't know if this is because I'm a horny devil. Fuck you talking about, are you an extrovert or are you an introvert? I, I'm a pervert. <laughs> what, are you I, what are you talking about? Like what? Bitch, come on now. Like I want to tell her mama, take me to that bathroom and get me a straw because I'm going to drink your bath water. <laughs> I'm, I'm nasty. I'm nasty, bitch. I put, I put, I put the T-Y, you nasty. And the T-Y stands for thank you. <laughs> I'm him. Stop playing with me, bitch. I was like, I'm, I'm just going, I'm just going <laughs> stuttering. I'm just like, I'm just going, I'm just, I'm just going to call it back. <laughs> I'm just going, I'm just going to call it back and tell her the wallet not here. It probably is in the car. I'm just going, yeah, I'm just going, you know what I'm saying? I'm just going. Bitch, you don't even know what you just going. What are you talking about? And I'm literally just in a room like, I got to go. Like, I got to get out of here. She was like, yeah, yeah, maybe just, you know what I'm saying, doing all this goddamn, yeah, maybe just, yeah, maybe you, yeah, just, yeah, call her because I don't see it. I done looked over here and I done looked over there. And I'm talking about nigga. It's so much body up under that towel. I'm like, <sighs> turn it into a fucking lichen like underworld rise of the lichens like i could feel my body like everything about that post and it was like you ever throw up so bad you feel yourself turning into a werewolf that was me like i felt my body shedding <laughs> i'm literally turning into a pervert like i gotta get out of here i'm just gone <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just i'm just gone you know what I'm, saying? I'm just gone type shit 
She was like, okay. I was like, okay. So I start kind of like, God damn, you know what I'm saying? Trying to maneuver around. I'm like, all right. So I'm like trying to put little shit back because I tore this bitch room apart. I'm not going to hold you. Like, it was looking like, goddamn, a tornado flew around my room before you came. Literally, like, I tore the bitch room up. So I'm trying to put little shit back just real quick. I get a goddamn trying to like go towards the door, right? Why did the mama grab me? Literally, she ain't say nothing else. The bitch ain't say nothing. She just grabbed me by my arm. It's one of them mama grabs. You know, you know when your mama grab you when you in trouble type shit. And I don't know if like y'all mama had nails and shit. My mama didn't have nails. My aunties and my oldest, oldest sister, she had nails. Whenever they used to grab me, I knew I was gonna get my ass whooped. I knew it because it just be one of them goddamn. I kind of turn and I'm like, you good? Cause like the way she grabbed me, like like something was happening. Like the bitch was gonna tell me like, oh my heart. You know what I'm Because she's older. You know <laughs> I'm thinking like the bitch was gonna tell me like, oh my back or my knee. And I was gonna pick her ass up. I, I got you, baby. Don't worry. I can. Mm, mm, let me get right here. Let me get right here up on it. <laughs> Fuck you, summer. So I'm like, you good? And she was like, I just, I just, I really like, I just don't know. And I'm looking at her like, you don't know what? Fuck you. <laughs> Wait, what you don't know? Because I'm going to help you figure it out. <laughs> and she was just like, I just don't know. I don't want to be disrespectful. I, I really don't want to be disrespectful. I'm just like, I'm like, what's wrong? <laughs> Bitch, I'm, I'm getting, I'm getting goddamn worried, concerned. I'm like, what's wrong? <laughs> like, wait, like, what's, no, like, dead ass. Like, what's happening? You know what I'm saying? I just feel like it's just disrespectful because, like, I opened the door in my towel. And I don't want you to think, like, no, no type of way about me. And I'm like, what are you talking about? Like, I don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, no, like, literally, like, even if, even if I wasn't planning to do what I'm about to do to this lady, I wasn't, you know what I'm saying? What are you talking about, bitch? Like, you just trying to say that because you want me. You know what I'm saying? You, you want me to get down. <laughs> wham, wham, wham. <laughs> just like, because, like, I opened the door of my towel. Like, I don't want it to be odd now between me and you and my daughter. And I don't want you to go back and be like, oh, yeah, I slid by your house and your mama opened the door in her towel. And I was just, I'm looking at her, I'm like, why would I say that? And I was like, I'm not going to say that. And like, y'all, literally, y'all, as I'm talking to this woman, I'm literally like kind of like trying to back up, trying to get out, skedaddle out in the room real quick. Let me tell y'all, she went from my arm to the rest of my, I'm talking about she pulling my sports bra, she pulling my shirt, she got them hand here, hand there. I'm like, I, <laughs> I'm about to do it. I'm out of nut. <laughs> you trying to explain yourself to me, but you you real touchy right now. You got a lot going on. I, I just need you to understand. Like, I'm not trying to be disrespectful. I'm not even a type of woman. I don't do shit like this. I am not. You know what I'm saying? I would never do nothing like this to nobody else. And I wouldn't even try to disrespect my daughter like this. But I just, I just don't know. I just don't know. And like, pulling on me. And like grabbing on everything as she's telling me this. And I'm trying to make my way out the goddamn door. And I'm just like, at this point, you know what I'm saying? I don't care. I don't, you know what I'm saying? Like, I was just like literally trying to inch my way out the door. This bitch is pulling me back into the room a little bit more. And I'm just like, look, you know what I'm saying? I I'm trying to plead my case. I'm trying to let her know right now. I said, I'm not even going to hold you. Like, I be, I be having sex with your daughter. And she's like, I know what you be doing. But like, that's what I'm trying to explain to you. Like. I'm not this type of woman. I would never do this. I would never. Woo, woo, woo. Nigga. I took that bitch towel off. I said, yeah, fuck it. You, you not going to <laughs> Look, one thing about me. I'm going to make first move. I'm not giving a fuck. I'm not one of them. I'm not going to play with you. I'm not scary. I'm not no punk pussy ass hoe. I'm going to show you. My mama raised a slut. Crazy girl. I said, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Talking too much. <laughs> you, you doing a little too much. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Oh man, yeah, 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 crazy. I said, yeah, I'm not finna play with you. What are you talking about? Nigga, I, I took her towel off. I don't give a fuck. And this is what I said. Don't crucify me. Don't crucify me. I fucked her mom. I don't care. I, I don't care. I don't care. I'm not that woman anymore. <laughs> Look, you know, you know, you know a person did some fucked up shit. The first thing out of their mouth, I'm not that person anymore. I am. I'm still a slut. <laughs> I am not gonna hold y'all. I'm not gonna hold y'all. One of y'all mama sliding my DMs right now and I'm fucking you. I'm gonna fuck your mama too. I don't care. I don't care. I'm not gonna lie. Towel come off, right? This bitch unbutton, like, I had on jeans. She unbutton them, unzip them, and literally yank them down. Like, she yanked them down. I ain't even do nothing else in. I stepped out the motherfuckers. Next thing I know, we on the flow. <laughs> I told this shit on my podcast. We on the flow. Y'all, why? Why were we scissoring? We were scissoring. Let me see. I got to whisper. <laughs> Y'all already know. And I'm talking about some raunchy shit. I got to whisper. We were scissoring so bad and so nasty like i literally like in the middle of a scissoring i was just thinking to myself like whose pussy is this wet because like is it my pussy or is it her pussy or is it our pussies collectively because when i tell y'all it was like unbelievable like and i told him on my podcast i'm not gonna hold you i'm gonna tell y'all the same thing i told him on my podcast everybody was like who better the mama or the daughter who was better the mom bro 
<laughs> the mom, bro. Is that a real question? Are y'all really asking me that right now? Nigga, they was on my podcast lighting my ass up. They was like, that taco, fuck that. Who better? Who better? Who who pussy was better? I said, if you want me to be honest, the mom of the blueprint. You know what I mean? Like, the, the dog is you know it. I was like, bro, I'm like, I'm, like, I'm not going to hold y'all. Like, the dog is a little vibe. But the mama, I'm talking about, I was like, oh my God. Like, I had never. Like, I'm not going to hold y'all. If any of the women I used to yeah, do to do it, or if, if you an ex or whatever, I'm not gonna hold y'all. This this was it. You know what I'm saying? Like I I'm like this is it. Like this this gotta be what them niggas used to be like back in the day when they used to stand outside and sing to a bitch in the ho in her window and dance in the rain. And goddamn, they used to be like, "Tell me what you want." <laughs> Like, bruh, when I was in it, I said, this got to be what they was singing about. You know what I'm saying? It got to be. Because, like, these new niggas now, they not singing about pussy no more. Them niggas back in the day, they was singing about pussy. And I understand why. Because when we was on that flow, I'm talking about, it was just like. <laughs> and I was just like, oh, shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm like, you're going to hell. Like, all I could really think about was, like, the fact that I'm going to hell. But then. I came and I said, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> fuck you talking about. When, when, hey, look, post nut clarity. I said, I don't care. Fuck you talking about. Nigga, I literally, like, after we finished, I had to get up. I left her. I said this shit on my podcast. I left her mama on the floor. Like, when we both got in here saying, arrived at our destination, I got up. Like, I'm talking about y'all. It was so much. Like, I literally was like, it is no way that this is really happening. And there's no way that is this intense. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm talking about the bitch was grabbing on me. I couldn't even goddamn really like maneuver my body because she was maneuvering. My she was grabbing me and making me. I'm like, oh my God, you're a hoe. I love you. <laughs> I'm in love, please. <laughs> I'm like, <sighs> black women. <laughs> you know that video that man? black women no literally that was me like i let y'all when we both like arrived at our destination i had to get up i left her mama on the floor like i got up got to the nail salon i'm like in there i'm talking to shawty like i'm literally looking at her in her face like your mom put so good <laughs> i'm looking at her like it ain't no way like your shit good too but your mama hitting crazy girl like i'm gonna put you down clown i gotta stop fucking with you type shit and i was just looking at her in her face and she was like yeah but like are you ready? Woo, woo, woo. And I told him on my podcast, I, I said, I lied. Like I lied and told her, like, I didn't want to go to, I didn't want to go to fright sex no more. Like I lied and told her, like, I'm cramping real bad. My period just started and I'm throwing up. When in actuality, I had to go home and shower and get her mama from in between my legs because y'all, my thighs were like drenched. Like it was so much. I was just like, damn. You know what I'm saying? Like I lied. I was like, I can't, I can't go. I can't go to that type shit. And I'm not going to hold y'all. I'm not gonna hold y'all. Me and her, me and a daughter, we continue. You know what I'm saying? We continue. Anytime I would come around, like after this situation, anytime I would come around, the mama would just act like I didn't exist. Like she literally would just like, "Hey, how you doing?" And that was it. Bitch, you. I, I said this shit on my podcast. I was like, "You don't hear me internally crying for you. I'm internally manifesting you. You don't hear me. I'm crying out for help, bitch." Here you are crying out for me where the mario girl i can hear it <laughs> hear me crying for me like you know, why are you playing with me <laughs> on everything i love y'all like i was like like her mama was like really moving like nothing happened you know what i'm saying like i'm not gonna hold y'all i don't think i mentioned this on the podcast but me and her mama did like two more things after that and then we just stopped completely like after that we stopped completely but let me tell y'all the only reason we stopped completely is because i stopped fucking with the daughter I'm not gonna hold y'all. If I would have continued to talk to the daughter and like fuck with the daughter, I honestly think me and the mama would have continued to, you know what I'm saying? But me and the daughter fell out, and then I remember like, I remember like she 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 started taking classes at Spelman or something was going on with her in Spelman. She started going to school, and then I remember like the last little bit. I remember she was like posting this little dyke on her page, and I was stressing because I was like that dyke is probably hitting the mama. Fuck the daughter. I don't give a fuck about the fact that the, the daughter with a new dyke the mama <laughs> miss shirley <laughs> like me and like i said me and the mama did like two more things but then like it just all came to an end because like i stopped talking to the daughter type shit stopped fucking with the daughter and then yeah like we ain't fall out bad it's just we just stopped fucking around type shit i think it's just i think it just got to the point where she was just like 
she didn't want to keep having sex and he really wasn't like doing nothing or going nowhere but it's like you didn't make that clear you don't want to me and saying you don't want to was like fucking me like i'm a damn sex slave and you didn't make it clear me and saying like i don't want to be no girlfriend anyway i'm trying to be your mama girlfriend fuck you talking about i'm trying to be your stepmom <laughs> my podcast i said i gotta find her mama facebook i know her mama first and last name i gotta make me a facebook and i gotta go in there and i gotta find her mama i honestly hope her mama watch my youtube like she watched my youtube type shit she just got goddamn drafted or recruited for, for the fucking major league united states postal office whatever the fuck i don't know how the military work but she just she and then she just like got recruited type shit and i know like she watched my shit non-stop like non-stop so i really hope like the way she watched my videos i really hope her mama was watching my shit the same way like because she was still with her mama so you know like she was still with her mama so it's just like i know you probably be having me on your tv at your house and your mama probably be walking past like that's that little bitch it is baby and you that big bitch so we should just come together and be them bitches fuck you to me i'm trying to be your bitch fuck you to me but that was it y'all <laughs> Y'all probably gonna crucify me, but I don't give a fuck. I don't care. Like, wait, what? You, what are you going? Oh, Taco, that's so wrong. You was having sex with her and her mom. I don't give a fuck. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care, y'all. I didn't kill anybody. Who cares? You know? That's just trifling. That's probably wrong. I don't give a fuck. I don't care. I, I, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's, not, it's not gonna make me no different. You know? <laughs> y'all gonna sit here in the comments and comment crazy shit. You gonna comment crazy shit on my video. You gonna comment crazy shit on Nick and Carly video. But guess what? I was in her mama like, wham, wham, wham. Bitch, I'm a baby. <laughs> moral of the story i don't have no moral <laughs> I, yeah, what are you talking about I'm talking about moral of the story you don't have any morals look at you look what you just told them always be true to yourself i guess that could be immoral because i'm I, like i told you i remember the mama just always asking me like how do i know or how do i know what is it what it would feel like or when when does it happen when will you know moral of the story just whatever you feel you feel it you know what i'm saying don't invalidate your own feelings you already got strangers out here watching you from the shadows and you already got people in your life and you know what I'm saying? Friends and family and strangers in your life telling you what's wrong, what's right, what to do, what not to do. You already got so many people around you trying to invalidate your lifestyle and invalidate the way you live and the way you feel as a human. Don't invalidate your fucking self. You know what I'm saying? I think another moral of the story is, it's no, it's no right way to go about anything. You know what I'm saying? Like, so just to piggyback off what I just said, like, don't let people tell you like, oh, well, if you if you claim you a lesbian but you got a kid you're not really a lesbian or you say you a lesbian but you only been with one woman or you say you a lesbian but yeah damn you done been with men in the past it don't matter y'all you know what I'm saying it ain't no rule book it ain't no rule book on how to be gay it ain't no rules to being gay whatever work for you it worked for you, you know what i'm saying don't let nobody invalidate that shit don't let nobody come up in your face and tell you you gotta do it like this or it don't really count or you gotta do it like you know what i'm saying it go for everybody bisexual trans lesbian don't give a fuck gay non-binary they them whatever the fuck it don't matter you know what i'm saying like it's your choice it's your life at the end of the day you living for yourself so just always live for yourself um and that was it for this story time like i keep reiterating if you ever want to tap in before i even make the youtube video tap in with my podcast on an app called station head once you download station head type in taco tarantino or just click the link that i'm always linking it's gonna be down there in the description box make sure you go shop with uncut identity and go shop with holistic treasures i'm gonna tag them in the pin comments as well and shout out nick and carla send them my hands in send whatever you doing on tiktok the unspoken riz come fuck with me mommy you know what i'm saying send them my yeah crazy yeah i can't wait i can't <laughs> look i get happy can't wait till nick carla react to this one yeah all the money in sin i'm gonna walk on walk on y'all like this hold on Okay, bye.